good morning dear learners how are you i think you are well and you are staying at home safe and sound and you should not go out of home if it is highly essential in our last class i started tense and we already learned three tenses there is an indefinite tense there is a continuous tense and there is a perfect tense today we shall learn another tense that is present perfect continuous tense now you should know what present perfect continuous tense is present continuous present perfect continuous tense indicates the action which has been going on for some time or for point of time for a point of time let's learn present perfect continuous tense and write down present perfect continuous tense i am writing present perfect continuous tense present perfect continuous tense how can we learn present perfect continuous tense bengali sentences ami ek ghonta jabot ekti kobita mukhosto koritechi this is bengali sentence and at the end of verb tesi teso tese tesen is present but we shall find time in this sentence ek ghonta jabot this is the time of this sentence and now write down the sentence ami ek ghonta jabot কবিতা মুখস্ত করিতেছি কবিতা মুখস্ত করিতেছি অর করছি করছি অর করিতেছি হ্যাঁছি তেস তেসেন উইল বি ইন দ্য সেন্টেন্স নাও Uh, we should know the structure of this sentence structure first subject subject plus have been oblique has been plus main verb plus ing plus object plus for oblique since plus extension now you should write the structure subject have been has been main verb plus ing plus object for oblique since plus extension you should know in the bengali sentences we shall see jabot dhoriya or dhore hoite theke hoite theke indicates the time of this sentence jabot dhoriya now 
according to the structure we can translate subject i ami i i mukusto kora mukusto kora memorize learn by heart or get by heart memorize is common i auxiliary verb have been have been main verb memorize with ing memorizing memorizing object object kobita kobita that is a poem a poem now you should know for jabot dhoriya we use for and for hoite theke we use since here jabot so we can write uh, for for a ghonta an hour now you can write for uh, i repeat subject i mogosto kora auxiliary verb have been have been mogosto kora memorizing then ekta kobita a poem jabot dhoriya for shomoy time and hour now you can write you can write this is affirmative sentence <coughs> and negative sentence like now write down <coughs> negative sentence hmm. now negative sentence কয়েক দিন ধরিয়া নেগেটিভ সেন্টেন্স কয়েক দিন ধরিয়া ওর ধরে কয়েক দিন ধরিয়া বৃষ্টি হইতেছে না হইতেছে না This is negative sentence. Na, quite been dhoriya dhisti hoyte se na. For any kind of dhisti, the sentence indicates dhisti hoa. Then we use it as subject. It. Now structure. According to structure, it. It have not been, has not been. But Uh, third person subject singular subject we use has not it has not been it has not been misty hoa rain rain raining raining dhoriya jabot for 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 quite then some days or a few days a few days for a few days i repeat subject it auxiliary verb has not been has not been main verb with ing raining dhoriya for dhoriya we use for extension time a few days that is it has not been raining for a few days negative sentence write down write down the sentence now uh, we can uh, write 
interrogative sentence interrogative sentence interrogative sentence i think uh, you have written the sentence interrogative sentence তুমি কি তুমি কি সন্ধ্যা থেকে তুমি কি সন্ধ্যা থেকে তার জন্য অপেক্ষা করছো राइट एक्सटेंशन तरह और हिम और हार थे के और थे के और होते हुई थे वो यूज सेंस 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 चंदा इवनिंग नॉट इवनिंग प्रोनाउंसिएशन इज इवनिंग इवनिंग सेंस इवनिंग इंटरव्यू साइन have you been waiting for him since evening now write down the sentence write down tumi ki sondha theke tar jonno opekkha korcho i think you have written and our last sentence is negative interrogative sentence negative interrogative sentence negative interrogative sentence balak guli ki balak guli ki dupur theke guli uratche na और घुड़ी उड़ाइते से ना दूर थे घुड़ी उड़ा ना दिस इज नेगेटिव इंटरवेटिव सेंटेंस बालक बोले कि दूर थे घुड़ी उड़ा ना और नेगेटिव इंटरवेटिव सेंटेंस वी शैल राइट फास्ट ऑक्सीलरी भार then subject not or auxiliary verb negative auxiliary verb uh, according to structure we can write have 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 or haven't haven't the boys or have the boys not both are correct have the boys have the boys not Have the boys not been, or haven't the boys been? Have the boys not been, or haven't the boys been? Urano fly, flying, flying. 
line as there are many boys so we can write uh, kite not kite kites 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 theke kot theke since since dupur noon since noon this is negative interrogative sentence i repeat subject have uh, auxiliary verb have uh, subject the boy is not been main verb object kites time since noon now write down the sentence have the boy is not been flying kites since noon write down the sentence i think you have written the sentence and there are many sentences uh, like these ones and you should uh, practice at home i think you have written the sentence our next tense is past indefinite tense past indefinite tense past indefinite tense indicates the action which was done before now bengali sentence first uh, let's know the structure of past indefinite tense structure subject past indefinite tense write down past indefinite past indefinite tense structure write down the structure subject plus main verb in past form main verb in past form plus object plus extension write down the structure subject plus main verb in past form uh, plus object plus extension past indefinite tense structure Now, open the sentence of past indefinite tense. Ami English porikha dia silam. Here, in this sentence, at the end of main verb, Bengali verb, ilam ilo ile ilen. We shall see ilam ilo ile ilen. Now, write down the sentence. Ami. ইংরেজি পরীক্ষা দিয়েছিলাম আমি ইংরেজি পরীক্ষা দিয়েছিলাম ইলাম মেন ভার দিয়েছিলাম ইলাম ইলাম এলো এলে ইলেন ইজ প্রেজেন্ট ইন Bengali sentence. According to structure, we can write or we can translate subject I, I. Purikhadawa, Purikhadawa appear at or appear in or take. Appear at is mostly used. So we can write appear at. I appear at object. ইংরেজি পরীক্ষা দা ইংলিশ এক্সাম আই অ্যাপিয়ার অ্যাট দ্য ইংলিশ এক্সামিনেশন ফর এক্সাম 
I appeared at the English examination. This is affirmative sentence. Now write down the sentence. Try to understand according to structure and uh, subject I. Purikha dawa appeared at past form, verb in past form. English exam, the English examination. I appeared at the English examination. Write down. Write down the sentence. Now, interrogative sentence. For interrogative sentence, we use did. We use did before subject. To me, key. To me, key. The beauty. दहन तुम्हें कि गाड़ी की दहन कर दहन कर इंटरगेटिव सेंटेंस एंड फार्ष्ट डिट डिट रैट डाउन डिट सबेक्ट प्लस सबजेक्ट यू According to structure, main verb. Main verb. If we use past did or did not, then main verb will be in present form. Present form that is gavi dahon kora milk. Dahon kora means milk. Did you milk? Did you milk? Object the cow. Now that cow, now try to understand. Did you milk the cow? In this sentence, there is no extension. There is no extension. So, maybe Shadin Gabuti the home place here. Then we shall write, Did you milk the cow that day? That day will be extension. Negative interrogative sentence. Negative interrogative sentence. Now, negative interrogative sentence. Or negative sentence. I think you have written the sentence and you have understood the structure and the Bengali translation. Our our time is uh, over. So next class we shall learn negative sentence, negative interrogative sentence. of this tense and other tenses and i think you will stay at home you will read uh, the tense carefully because tense is highly essential for any kind of grammar if you don't have any clear understanding or knowledge about tense you will not be able to solve any kind of grammar so first try to learn tenses tenses of all kinds clearly and today we can finish our class and i wish you all successful thank you